Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. And yes, I know it's not yet launched in India. And uh, I got this uh, unit from Fezzel Communications and they quoted me a price of around 50,000. And as you can see, very Spartan specs over here. It just says that it has 4G LTE support. It has a 64-bit octa-core processor. That's the Exynos 7420 chipset. And this Note 5 has 4 gigs of RAM, whereas the Note uh, uh, 4 had 3 gigs of RAM. And it also has a 16 megapixel uh, rear facing camera and a 5 megapixel front facing camera. And uh, this model is the 32 gigabyte model. Uh, we have one more variant that is a 64 gigabyte model. And uh, we have this one in black color. In fact, uh, if you follow my channel just yesterday, I did the unboxing, uh, sorry, the in initial hands-on overview for the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. This is the gold variant, but this one is the black color variant. We also get this one in the, what do you say, uh, the gold color and various other colors. So this is the handset. Again, here it uh, uh, specifies us that it has that Quad HD 5.7 inch uh, display and basic information. And it also has the s pen so let me keep these things to the side and let's quickly look at what else do we get we also um, have the sim ejector tool it must have just gone down and these are the uh, booklets uh, and here is the sim ejector tool as i mentioned this one it should have been over here anyways let's move and this is the power brick uh, it's a little bit different as you can see and uh, this supports fast charging and output of 5 volts at 2 amps but for fast charging it has an output of 9 volts at 1.67 amps so it does support uh, fast charging and the charger has been changed from uh, note 4 as you can see it's has adaptive fast charging support and these are your extra tips uh, for the s pen we also have the usb cable and now uh, what do you say these uh, earphones are packed in this plastic box earlier they used to just come like this so let's put this box to the side and let's uh, have a look at the device itself so here we have the uh, brand new note 5 let me give you a physical overview first and uh, it feels a little bit different let me bring uh, what do you say even the this is the note 4 and as you can see right away this note 5 feels a little bit narrower uh, because they have uh, trimmed down the bezels uh, so it feels much more easier in the hand and the build quality has changed significantly I would say now this uh, Note 5 has glass the back is also glass and the front again as usual is glass let me give you a physical overview and then we'll continue on the top we have the slot for the sim slot uh, sadly again even on the note 5 we do not have the ir blaster secondary noise cancellation microphone we have the power button which is tactile and on the bottom we have the s pen we'll come back to the s pen later on main microphone opening for the speaker micro usb slot and the 3.5 mm headphone jack on this end we just have the volume rocker and again on the back if you look closely again the we have that tapered design on both the edges. So the glass is curved on both the edges. And again, as you can see, it's a fingerprint magnet. It's not even a minute since we opened. So it's going to be a fingerprint magnet. Regarding the camera, it's a 16 megapixel uh, camera with optical image stabilization. We still get the heart rate sensor and the LED flash. Uh, but now the battery is sealed inside with the Note 5. And also uh, we don't have any micro SD card support. So the storage is what you get. And let's try to power on this device now. And I hope it has charge. Yeah, it says that. And regarding the front facing camera, as I mentioned, it's a five megapixel shooter. A earpiece 5.7 inch screen quad HD again home button and this also has the fingerprint scanner again this is for the multitasking back standard uh, stuff I would say and let me quickly just set this up and we'll continue so I've just set this up and uh, let's look again we have the quick toggles over here uh, standard stuff we have NFC uh, but again no IR blaster on this one again and if we go to the settings let's look at about the device and as you can see let's look at the software info uh, it's running on the android version 5.1.1 uh, 
uh, which is Android Lollipop. Uh, so we are getting the latest version of Lollipop with this uh, Note 5. Let's also quickly look at the storage. Let's go back and look at the storage and out of the 32 gigabytes, we get 24.8 gigabytes of space free. But again, guys, do note that we don't have any micro SD card slot on this Note 5. So the storage is what you get. So if you require a lot more storage of for the 64 gigabyte variant instead of the 32 gigabyte variant, it's sad to say that uh, we don't have a micro SD card slot on the Note 5. And that's the same case even with the uh, Galaxy S6, uh, the Edge Plus. So anyways, let's continue. And uh, so again, uh, not a lot of bloatware, I would say. Uh, just basic uh, apps. And already uh, Google uh, apps are in a folder. So that's nice. And if you go here, uh, again, the S Pen is the thing that differentiates the Note series. And again, we have the S Pen. And now, as you can see, uh, it's the mechanism is supposed to be a little bit different. You just press it once and it pops out. So this is how the S Pen comes out. And it's again color coded uh, for this variant. It's this in this gray color. And as you can see, like a ballpoint pen, it has that clicky feature. It's nothing, it just can just put it back. And it goes in like this. And one new feature uh, with the S Pen is that now, as you can see, the phone is in standby. You can just take it out. Uh, I think so. I need to set this device. Thereby, you can just write it. I guess I need to set the uh, the account, uh, this phone. I haven't set set the phone uh, yet. So let me just, let me try to take out the S Pen. And we have the default eight commands and stuff. In fact, I'll try to make a, a different dedicated video regarding the new S Pen features. Uh, we'll just continue with the general overview in this video. Let me put back the S Pen. But again, it feels nice, I would say. Uh, you just press it and you can bring it out. And uh, let's quickly also open the web browser. Uh, let's see, yeah, here's the Chrome web browser. And let's accept, no thanks. And let's try. This is the default keyboard that we get and that hasn't changed. It's still the typical Samsung keyboard that we are getting. Specs of the device will be on the screen now. In terms of screen quality, again, it's a very good uh, screen, a very crisp Quad HD uh, display. And also in terms of multitasking, it should be very good because it has four gigs of RAM now. Uh, and we still have that multi window support and all those things that you expect from the note series in fact yes you have this gesture that we saw with the note 4 all those features are still there let's also quickly look at the camera because uh, samsung has said that the camera has really uh, been improved it's a 16 megapixel uh, shooter that we saw with the s6 and the s6 had a very good camera and uh, let's see if we have this gesture if we just double tap yes the camera uh, opens that's the quick launch shortcut oops <laughs> Here, as you can see, and the tap to focus, really nice. So the camera is uh, uh, really fast in focusing, and we have some new modes. Uh, the live broadcast is an interesting feature. I'll try to actually test this out, how well this uh, works. And also, in terms of video, Samsung said that uh, now it has VDIS plus optical image stabilization. So even if you take video and walk around, the video should be pretty stable. So I also want to check that out. So guys, that's it for now for this very quick unboxing and first look with the Galaxy Note 5. If you have any specific questions around this device, do post them in the YouTube comments and I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching this video. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.